We watched, unfortunately, AEW Rampage. Oh, was it that bad? It was not that bad. It wasn't that good. Sometimes I think that this show, it's almost like you have to be part of a secret club sometimes to watch it. I think that some fans feel that they're not, like, totally in the club. If you have access to Twitter, you get the name change. I think a lot of this discourse in wrestling, particularly with AEW, stems from folks who choose not to know... Or learn something new. No, no, hold on a second, Leonard. Wait, 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 wait. You don't have to go wait, hunting wait, wait. for it. I should just yeah. tell you. It's the show's job to tell you what's going on. It's not your job as the fan to hunt this information out and research it. it seems a little bit uh, secret clubbish. Tony Schiavone interviews Hook. He's interrupted by a human being who, <laughs> yes. des- who describes himself as... Can we talk as... about this exclusive secret club? <laughs> this is the Who secret... in the fuck is Zach Clayton? He's married to Wow. From the Jersey Shore. Yeah. Zach Clayton. The reality. Zach Clayton. Ty Mello, Sky Blue, Parker Boudreaux, Sonny Kiss, Eric Redbeard. Uh, the reality is Zach Clayton. When did Rampage become the C show? Who are these people? What am I watching? I don't, it didn't even feel like I was watching All Elite Wrestling. Kind of felt like they doubled down this week. Like, ah, people are talking about this show's like dark. Well, I'll we'll really give them some dark. This is this- pitch black. Punk or Moxley? I, I can't. <laughs> it's impossible. I would ca- I would call the match off. Neither of you should lose right now. <laughs> Don't do this. Gee, everybody's out of town on a vacation. I know. Uh, what what are you doing? Are you lonely? I pretend I'm there with them. You pretend you're in uh, wherever they're at. I was wondering if anyone has ever given you a nickname. I used to have dimples. They called me dimples. Oh, R- that's sweet. And rumble seat. And Excuse sh- me. And shorty. Rump- rumble seat. Rumble yeah, seat. Rumble seat. <laughs> <laughs> and Shorty. Did, did you sit on the rumble seat in the truck? No, they just said I had a r- big rumble seat. I see. I was wrong. <laughs> you okay. Had a, you had a big rumble seat. Mm-hmm. Huh. All right, then. Well, you definitely learned something you weren't expecting to learn every single day now, don't you? I think now is a great time to move on to that wrestling report. One guy was the big fat guy... With the uh, kind of uh, orange hair that kept sitting on faces. There were two guys that were fat that kept sitting on faces. And okay. then the, sh- the short guy. I am not Googling this. Cold Stone and Triple H were having a feud. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they certainly were, that Cold Stone and Triple H. Drew McIntyre versus the Usos. I hate yes. The Usos. Yeah. Hates those Usos. Ed and uh, Christian. Ed Edge. and Christian. Edge. 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 I okay. like Edge. Remember, and they were supposed to be wrestling K and Tay. K and Kai and Tai. Kai and Kai and Tai. Back and forth punches on Ed and Christian. Ed and Christian got a few moves in, not too many. Then chairs came out. <laughs> quit that. Quit that. I'm sorry, Granny. <laughs> I don't really care. Then I've got a, a list. Excellent. Of- we then go to Joe Fowler. This is the subpar flower, not the great flower. Wow, did a lot of stuff happen that we got to get into here today. <laughs> this will not be a boring month, whatever's going to happen next. No, whatever's going to happen, it will not be boring. Because no. a lot of stuff happened that was exciting on the show that it wasn't even supposed to happen. The very first thing the returning world champion does is to go into business for himself and take a pot shot at a guy he's not having a program with because he doesn't like him or whatever. They had a promo segment several months ago leading up to their championship match, and Hangman made comments about, you know, Punk being a cancer to the locker room or whatever he called it, and he was very, very upset with, with CM Punk, and Punk has been angry and upset about it ever since. And Punk took the opportunity here because they're given lots of freedom in what they say and do on this show, And he came out and he called out Hangman. And Hangman, of course, had no idea this was going to happen, nor did anybody else. And so, of course, Hangman didn't come out. And then CM Punk called him a coward. CM Punk is really, really good at promos. And so he points out that Moxley claims to be the best wrestler in the world. He's never been the best. He's never been the best within his own circle. He's the third best guy in his own group. He was the third best guy in his old group. His friend named Eddie, who is the third best Eddie and second best Kingston I have ever shared a locker room with. Danielson wanted Garcia in his group, but Jericho chose him for the Jericho Appreciation Society first. And so then Danielson, they got Wheeler Yuta. 
But when you really think about it, I think Wheeler Yuta is a better fit for Jericho, and Garcia is a better fit for the Blackpool Combat Club. If Tony Khan is listening, which I don't think he is, a moth fucking just flew into my fucking mouth. That is at least the second time I'm doing a show with you and a bug has flown into your mouth. Yeah, what the fuck's going on? The betrayal and the humiliation of having your own flesh and blood turn on you on national television and you know how that's gonna that's gonna that's gonna leave a scar for a long time. And the next thing you know, Billy is on his feet going, Ah, I'm scissoring daddy ass. The crowd was not into it. They were giving him the what treatment, and it was getting to him. Tony hits a German suplex, the running ass lance in the corner, which they have now I was dubbed. just literally attacked by a fucking spider right there. Jesus, God almighty. I got to get out of this fucking place. A moth and then a spider within about a 15-minute period. And next week on Dynamite, the presumed main event of the pay-per-view, John Moxley versus CM Punk to unify both titles. What? <laughs> What? What? And when Jim Ross said, folks, we are learning about this as you are learning about this, I 100% believe him. He was unbelievable in this match. And he was unbelievable in being awesome, but also working it to fool you yes. into thinking that he missed a spot or two. Kenny Omega wrestling as a crippled version of himself is still in the top 10% of pro wrestlers I've ever seen in my life. He opened with Giovanni Vinci versus Carmelo Anthony for the North American title. Who? What did I say? Carmelo Anthony. Carmelo Anthony's a basketball player. C Carmelo Hayes, right? Yes. Yeah. Gallus is in NXT now. They ain't going to be the last ones either because uh, this out. NXT UK is, yeah. uh, is history. Is this guy still a virgin? I want to know if I should still refer to him as the virgin or That's if he can corrected. graduate to the fucked. <laughs> Something. <laughs> oh, God. You watch She-Hulk yet? No. There's actually a similar conversation going on throughout that show. Which is, wow. Really? I was so fucking happy that Santos Escobar lost because I cannot wait to see this guy on the main roster. I've been, I've been ranting about why is Santos Escobar not on the main roster for well over a year now. And then Braun is celebrating outcomes. NXT UK champ Tyler Bates. I loved Dynamite. I thought that it was a uh, overall very good addition of uh, NXT, beside, despite some of the goofy finishes and that sort of thing. The, the, the work is better. There's no stupidity. It's not wacky. I, I, it's not I never dumb. Felt, I never felt insulted watching this No, nah, it's not insulting at all. It's just a solid wrestling show yeah. that has been improving week after week, even though nobody apparently wants to hear that. It is the fucking truth. And we hope that you